Hi, I'm Carrie from Blow Sew and Vac, and I'm here to show you a little bit about the Bernina Q20 today. So we're gonna do a little bit of free motion, a little bit of ruler work, and kind of introduce you to the machine. Everyone has been just piecing and sewing and doing all kinds of fun things during the lockdown. So, guess what? You need to get those quilts quilted. So I'm gonna give you a few tips to get you started, and we'll go from there. So, first thing I'm gonna show you is the screen on the Q20. The Q20 stands for 20 inches. So that means you have 20 inches from the needle all the way back to the back of the machine here. So you have plenty of room to quilt. You're not fighting your machine over on the right side. It's awesome. The lighting is fabulous. And guess what? There are stitch regulators built into the bottom of the machine. So those of you that have um, traditional machines without a regulator, you're gonna be amazed at what this does. So what happens is, this machine comes with basically a darn, it looks like a darning foot. It's, the, it's foot number nine. And if I use the heel of my foot control, it will lower the needle and it will bring the needle up, just like your domestic Bernina. You wanna bring your bobbin thread to the top because you don't want that nest on the bottom. And then when you start stitching, do you see those little red lights? Those are the regulators. So I'm just gonna do a few short stitches here to get started. Now, some people like to use gloves. Um, there are two, a couple different things you can use. You can, there's a bunch of different um, things you can use with your hands. There's rings that are wonderful. Um, I have some regular grab -a gloves here. You can use those. And then you can also teach yourself to put one hand flat and kind of bunch up with your other hand and you can quilt like that. So when you're quilting, you've got a little control over your machine as far as the speed. So no matter if I go fast or I go slow, my regulator keeps up with me. So all my stitches are the same size. And that's the beauty of having a regulator. And I have all this room. So if I'm doing a large quilt, I've got lots of room to sew. So it's just one of those things you have to think about, like you're skating. You're just skating along and learn to breathe and relax. One of the fun things about this machine, if you look up here at the screen, there's different modes you can go into. So BSR1 is when, I'm, when I hit my foot control, the needle keeps moving up and down. If I go to BSR2, it means when I start quilting and I wanna stop and think about where I'm gonna go next, it'll wait for me. So I like, I like Stitch Regulator 2 because it stops when I stop. So I can think about what my design is going to be. BSR3 is basting. So all I have to do, if I wanted to baste a quilt on this machine, I would hit BSR3 and it will stitch basting for me. Isn't that great? Now, there's lots more to learn on the machine, but we don't have time for all of it today. We'll be doing more of these. But I wanted to show you another really cool thing that this machine can do. For those of you that aren't real good at free motion quilting, you can still quilt your own quilts. You can use what's called a ruler. And these rulers are made a little thicker than a rotary mat ruler. And you wanna make sure you're buying the ones that are at least a quarter inch thick. And what these do is they help you quilt in the ditch, quilt different designs. And this is just one of the rulers that you can get. So in order to do that, you have to have a thicker foot. And every brand of machine has these. And they're a lot deeper than a regular free motion foot because you're going across the edge of the ruler and you don't want this to jump up on top of your ruler and crack it. So you put your ruler work foot on. And again, we're gonna bring our our uh, thread up from the bobbin by using the heel of my foot control. And then I can actually quilt using this ruler. So let's say I'm going to just do um, stitch in the ditch. Let's pretend this is my seam line. So this foot is designed so that is exactly a quarter inch all the way around. Let me put my needle down here so you can see. It's a quarter inch from the needle to the edge of the foot on all sides. So I can put my ruler anywhere I want and it's a quarter inch away. Now, one of the things that it's got is a little indentation here. So if I line that up with my, um, let's say I'm just gonna stitch a quarter inch away from my seam line. 
it'll do that all the way along and I can get a perfect straight line. Isn't that great? So I'm going to just clip that off. I'm going to put my needle down so it's down. Now one thing you need to remember is if you're stitching along and you want to do start using your ruler, you have to make sure your foot is not up. Because if you have that crashing down on your ruler, you could break it. So make sure your foot's down, position your ruler, and then start stitching. And you can see here, I have quarter inch markings on my, on my um, ruler, and I have lots of different types of rulers here in the store. But just an idea of what you can do, lining these up, and they're not extra, really, really long, they're just they're manageable so that your hands can use them so you can not only do straight lines you can do patterns so there's lots of different styles of rulers and do you see sorry about my manicure um, you have to put some fingers on the fabric so that your ruler doesn't slip so I'm gonna go around and you know one thing nice about having this Q22 whoops see I stopped before I should have stop on the line is you have stitch regulation. So if you're doing uh, ruler work on your regular domestic machine, you don't have stitch regulation because you need a special foot for that and you have to have the ruler work foot on here if you're doing ruler work. So what I'm going to do is use both hands. I think it's a lot easier because I'm on the edge of my fabric. So I just used one. And you always stop, reposition the ruler, and then go along. So now I'm doing a little clamshell which is a fun little thing you can do on, for an all over design, like on a, a small wall hanging or a baby quilt, and you have success. So you don't have to be an expert free motion quilter to use the Q20 or to do any kind of free motion because you can do this with any machine. The, the ease of this is using the Q20, you just have so much more room. So that's all for today and do you want to tell us about the cabinet it comes in at all? Oh, let's do that. Okay, so this comes with a koala cabinet. You can also get some other styles. There is a folding table that you can get that's a little bit higher. But the beauty of this koala cabinet is, is it opens like a dining room table and it has two leaves. So you can put leaves in here and it can go 60 inches wide. So I usually have at least one leaf in mine at home because I like to have a little extra table space. So that is an awesome thing that you can use to help you with those big quilts. The nice part about this size of machine is if you don't have room for a standard frame with a long arm, you can have room for this because it's about, it's a little bigger than what we used to call a card table back in the old like days. There's LED, lights too. there's LED lights under here. Yeah, so the lighting is fabulous and it's a little bit higher in this area than a domestic machine so you can really see your quilting and yeah, it's a great machine. So call us, stop in, we'll show it to you, and teach you some more. That's all.